back everyone in today's video i'm going to share with you five destinations worth visiting in macedonia macedonia is a small country um, north of greece on the balkan peninsula only two and a half million people but it's my country and I love it. It has recently grown in popularity among tourists all over the world. People are flooding over to see the capital, which is Kopje, ever since the city got a little bit beautified with some new buildings, new attractions. So I decided um, to share this video for all of those tourists out there who are planning on visiting Macedonia, just as tips and um, you know suggestions of what you can do while you're here. I'm gonna start with number five and if you stick with me till the end number one is gonna be absolutely the best location I would recommend number five if you're into history and all of those like historical cultural things I would definitely recommend visiting the Kale fortress um, in Skopje this is a very old fortress built in the 6th century um, AD and it has basically withstood time because it's built on a, such a hill that kind of protects it from invaders, but it also gives it the possibility to overlook all of the city of Skopje and the river. So definitely worth visiting the Kale Fortress. It's been the seat of um, many conquerors, many kings. Um, nowadays, it's part of the cultural heritage of the city of Skopje. It has been restored. Um, there is not much inside going on because everything has been destroyed, but you can still go visit it because it has some lovely shots and views. You can walk by the walls, you can see the tower, um, of, of Kale, um, you can even take amazing photos at sunset and it gives you an amazing view all around almost like a 360 degree view of Skopje obviously it's it's now very developed it's not what it used to be in the past but it still has that um historic feeling to it so i would definitely recommend it if not for the history part of it then just for the views and those amazing shots that you can take there the second popular attraction that you can do around skopje and i know this is not your typical one there's so many other things to do as well and i even have a video that's linked here about popular restaurants and bars around skopje but um, the, the second thing I'm going to mention, or number four on my list, is definitely visiting the Opera and Ballet House. Definitely worth checking out a show if you're here. They don't do shows often, so you really have to plan and check the schedule in advance. But when they do, it really is good quality. And I can say that because I've seen shows, Broadway shows in New York, in uh, West End in the London. So if I if I liked the opera here, it meant it means that it really is good quality. I was there twice. The first time I visited was earlier in 2019 when I watched the Tales of Hoffman opera performance. It has one of my most favorite songs, which is Barker Roll. Um, and uh, honestly, it was such an amazing experience. I returned later in 2019, just before um, New Year's Eve, to watch the Nutcracker, which is a ballet, it's not an opera, but it's still an amazing performance. So definitely check it out. So one of my favorite activities to do around Skopje, one possible, is obviously opera and ballet. I'm currently here to see the Nutcracker, which is obviously a classic, and I've wanted to see it for the longest time, but this is the first time I've had the chance. There are many shows, but they're very they're seasonal, so you need to really, if you're touristing or just coming from abroad, you need to check and see what the program is. But otherwise, yes, let's go in. taking the short trip about an hour and a half drive away to visit Mavro. Uh, the nature is amazing. There is a little monastery which is Saint Jovan Vigorski there, um, one of the best monasteries in Macedonia. There is even 
even a lake, the, uh, the natural fields and forests are just stunning. So for the next location on my list, I'm here in Mavrovo, which is a place very close to the capital Skopje. It's like two hours drive um, on the mountain Bistra. And basically during winter, it functions as a ski resort. And during summer, you can just come here to enjoy the nature. There is even a lake. And this church uh, behind me, these are actually ruins. Um, and when in the summer, the lake, the water comes um, closer and kind of fills in the church. So it almost looks like an underwater church, but it's basically an amazing place. You can ski, you can have fun, just enjoy winter. summer it actually covers part of the church so it looks like a sunken underwater church which is really amazing now I was there during winter because it's also a very lovely you know winter destination but the water was not high enough to cover the church and as you can see in these photos the, the you know the church is all in ruins but can you imagine how it looks during summer so definitely a very interesting place to visit there is even a Macedonian traditional Macedonian restaurant there where you can try traditional food <laughs> So a little stop for lunch break at Mavriano, which is a small little restaurant right on the lake. As you can see, we have an amazing view here, great nature. You can try and see the frozen <laughs> lake as well. The food is really traditional Macedonian food. Um, you have a lot of grilled meats, you have cheeses. Um, special Macedonian spread Ivar. So, if you're here, definitely stop by and check this little restaurant with the view. I assume it's as amazing in the summer as it is now with the snow in winter. So, yes, let's dig in. Um, also, you know, just enjoy the nature all around. So, definitely one of my favorite locations that I would recommend no matter what your interest is, whether it's skiing, enjoying the snow, or in the summer enjoying the nature, or visiting cultural heritage, uh, or taking a walk by the lake, visiting the monasteries, uh, Mavrovo has a bit of everything. Number two, we're down to number two uh, on my list. If you're already visiting Macedonia and you have the time, you have to go see the city of Ohrid. This is one of the most amazing cities that we have and it's located on the Ohrid Lake. It's such an old and historic city. It has so many churches and little monasteries, such a rich cultural and historic value. There is this old part of town when you can see the old street, streets and you know uh, little bazaars and shops that you can do some shopping. You can even during the summer go and visit a beach, have an amazing beach time. There's plenty of lovely beaches out there that also have bars for parties. So Ohrid is definitely a very popular tourist attraction. They do interesting boat tours uh, around the lake. Um, you can even enjoy a coffee or dinner um, in a restaurant on the lake with amazing views. So definitely a destination that you can't miss if you visit Macedonia and you have the time. while in Macedonia is the Church of St. John at Caneo, also located in Ohrid. So if you're already visiting my number two location that I suggested, which is the city of Ohrid, you cannot miss visiting the Church of St. John at Caneo. This is a church built in the 13th century, I believe, and it's dedicated to John the Apostle, um, situated on a cliff that overlooks all of the Ohrid Lake right above the Caneo beach, that's why it's called St. John at Caneo. Um, and it's such a 
historical treasure for Macedonia because it's an Orthodox church built in the old Byzantine architecture. Um, inside you have a lot of frescoes to, dedicated to Saint Clement um, of Ohrid. So it's, it's a very interesting thing to see. If you can get inside, it would be amazing to see all that frescoes hand drawn and carved. But also, even if you climb up there, because it's on the hill, so there's a little bit of pathway either climbing or coming down from um, a, a di different higher point. Even if you take the, the time to make the trip to get to the church, because the access is not very easy, the views are all worth it. I was there um, back in May of 2019, and I was there during sunset, accidentally, which was the best time to visit this place because I could see sunset and the sun um, setting across the Ohrid Lake, which was such a stunning moment. And just that place gives you such a, you know, peace, seeing the water in front of you, the old architecture, knowing that this is a church, a very holy place for Christians. So I would definitely recommend visiting Church of St. John of Canel if you're in Ohrid. guys you like my suggestions obviously there's so many other places that I'm gonna have to mention in another video for lack of time because I don't want to keep my videos very long I want you to you guys to be able to take in information in small bits and pieces and if you like what I'm sharing or if you have any other suggestions or videos that I can do or places in Macedonia that you liked that I didn't mention please comment below don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so you're notified every time I upload a video and you don't miss it and thanks so much for watching see you next time